Here we have a pre-owned 2013 Audi A8. Now this one is the long wheelbase, so this is an A8L. I believe this is the Havana black metallic. And then we have the, the tan leather interior. Not sure on the actual color code for that. But the powertrain of this one with it being a 3.0T is gonna be a three liter supercharged V6 engine made it to an eight speed automatic transmission. I believe that's 333 horsepower, 325 pound feet of torque. But as we come around to the front end here, just a lovely looking front fascia here. We have those Xenon LED headlamps. Just looks absolutely incredible. And what's cool about this model is this has about 134,000 miles, I think. So I'm gonna see how it's held up over the years. 20 inch aluminum wheels. Very nice to look there. We get passive keyless entry on all four doors. And these are all soft closed as well. Now blind spot monitors, power door lock controls, memory seats, and then we have the electronic child locks in the back, power window controls, and then the power mirror controls. We can power fold those as well. Bose sound system. We can control the boot from here. Headlamp controls, and then it's just beeping at me because it doesn't want me to have the car on when I'm not in it, but. Power seat controls, four-way power lumbar. We have the massage seat as well. So pretty neat setup. And I like how the seats are kind of bolstered as well. Just a nice design, in my opinion. And I'm so sorry for the wind noise. Very windy today. But I have that seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 with longer legs. Shouldn't really matter though. But let's go ahead and test out this back. So sitting back here, great space, even with the, the roof here, several inches of headroom, very impressed by that. And I love the, the soft headliner here. I don't know what that is, but it feels very nice. I guess I can't turn those on soft touch, but over here, I can adjust the, the seat and put it into that recline mode if I want to. Now for me, it's not really gonna do too much because I'm pretty big, but you can actually recline the seat. And you even have a, a memory seat for that as well. And the rear AC vents integrated there. Of course we have two 12 volts and a cigarette lighter. And there's a view of the front from back here. Now what's crazy is this car, as of now is less than $13,000, which is insane. But also what's neat about it is everything seems to be in very good working condition. Would not mind having one of these at all. And then here we can actually adjust the, the seat itself to find that perfect position without it necessarily having to be in a, a recline state. And I mean, you have lumbar support back here. All the stuff works, which is crazy to me. And then three stage heated outboard seats here. It's just very, very impressive. Very impressive. And then we can control the sun chain from back here. Now I do wish we had, and I feel like we do, yeah. So we have the integrated blinds in the back. Lovely. Both sides there. And then we have our ashtray here. So, I mean, a very fancy car. Who's, I wanna know what the sticker for, probably over a hundred thousand, but it's just crazy for it to be in such great shape. It's just nuts. And then you have this car you could get for less than 13,000 right now. To the back end, tons of space here. Spare tires underneath there. Netted side pockets, both sides, the 12 volts over here too. But there's the back end there. Look underneath. And I really think this is a fantastic option if you want a, a ride like a big dog you don't want to have to pay that big dog money. 
Cause this thing is so cool. Now to the front passenger seat, same adjustability as the driver's side. Native pocket there if you wanna put a few maps or something. Lockable glove compartment, owner's manuals are in there. And I think I forgot to hit the hood latch. So we're gonna go ahead and pop the hood and take a look in the engine bay. Maybe I didn't. So just a, a beautiful work of art there. That three liter supercharged V6. But next, let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. Now leather wrap steering wheel here. There's the horn. And before I forget, because it's so well hidden, your steering wheel is heated and you can toggle that there. And then you have your power tilt and telescope there. Now when you heat the steering wheel, it doesn't do anything from the button, but it tells you on the gauge cluster when it's on or off. Now to the radio, first and foremost, you can just stow that away, which is pretty cool, I think. And it's a nice look when it's actually put up. Bluetooth audio. And on top of that, you have AM, FM. And then you also have Sirius with a subscription. And that media is right over there. You can go to your sources and it'll show you all those options there. But for the navigation system, I'm just gonna pull up the map. Now this is a little cumbersome because your screen is not touchscreen. Everything looks good for 2013, but you have to control everything from down here and there. So that just gets on my nerves because I'm spoiled and used to navigation screens that you can just touch. But all of your options are right in there. You do get a backup camera, which is nice. And the guidelines do follow you as you turn the steering wheel. Picture's not the best, but it's whatever. Down here, your drive's there, SD cards, and then you do have the CD drive. And with this, I think you have Wi-Fi. So your SIM card is here, or maybe that's for your phone, I don't know. But auto stop toggle is here, traction control, hazards, parking sensors, then you can control that rear line as well. And I already did that, but. Dual zone automatic climate controls are down here, three stage heated cool front seats. And to set up your presets, you just hold the button there when you're in the like FM radio, you can just hold that and it'll set it up and that'll be your new preset there. The volume is here and then you can click there to turn the audio off. Now the shifter is a little wonky. You have to hit this button, pull down for drive and then you can toggle the shift by doing that. And then neutral, reverse park. And then your electronic parking brake pull up to engage to the brake, press down to disengage. Cigarette lighter there, bottle holders. And then you do have the center console cubby space here, which is mostly just for your Audi interface. You can plug that in and then run a, a phone or whatever through the USB. Garage door transmitter, all of your lights are here, sunroof controls. goes all the way back and then you can also just get that sunshade too if you want to and your sunglasses holders right in here I know I'm missing something there's just so much stuff in here and again for it to be as cheap as it is now it's a, a pretty good deal I think there's off intermittent low high and then you can adjust that intermittent frequency here i'm not sure if those are auto wipers or not because i don't have the window sticker don't know much about these in general but blinkers are there you can toggle the lane keeping system there then your high beams you can toggle those 
turn them off there and then flash there. Now we do have adaptive cruise so we can turn the cruise on and then we can adjust the distance there, set the actual cruise there and then adjust speed. And then hit this Navigation button. Navigation is not active. And it'll give you info when you hit that for the nav. Voice recognition. That's how we go into the manual shift mode, volume. And then we can go through our gauge cluster using all of this here. But our push button starts here. Finally, here's the key fob. 